say that you are uh, insensitive and they, they, they're concerned that if you become uh, a, a prominent person in the Reagan administration that you will harm black people. And one NAACP official is quoted as saying the following, quote, he, referring to you, would play the same kind of role which historically the house niggers played for the plantation owners. He could mete out the straight discipline, no matter how inhumanely administered, it would be presumed more acceptable because the hands of the disciplinarian are black, end of quote. Pure. Uh, this kind of contemptible business is typical of what you find among people who have no arguments, no facts, no evidence, and who simply have to defend themselves in the positions they've taken. I think the NAACP itself is much more in the image of the, of the house nigger, that they are simply the end of the civil rights of the liberal white establishment. They follow wherever the head leads. I guess what does disturb me, not uh, from the standpoint of this administration as much as from society in general, is that I think there are those people who were fomenting black hysteria in order to preserve their own positions in their communities and their own positions of so-called leadership. So what we are saying to Mr. Reagan, we don't believe that Jimmy Carter's black clique was honest with him. They went and told Carter what they wanted him to hear. They didn't tell him what black America wanted him to hear. The racist charges against Ronald Reagan during the campaign and a basic misgiving about the Republican Party resulted in blacks being the only voting bloc of the crumbling Democratic coalition not to jump ship and the only group to stick with Jimmy Carter, the landslide loser. Now that President Reagan has assumed office, the question is inevitable. Will a turned off Reagan administration deal blacks out with punitive measures because it has the political freedom to do so? Or will Reagan use his massive landslide victory to exploit the awesome coming apart of the Democratic coalition to permanently expand the base of the GOP by building bridges to blacks. I'm Tony Brown. In a moment, Ronald Reagan and Black America.